Hercules is an hour-long training montage, a 20-minute fight scene, and a two-minute murder mystery, and none of them are good. Dwayne The Rock Johnson stars as Hercules, the super strong demigod we all know, and just kidding, this Hercules is a mercenary who doesn't believe in mythical things like centaurs or gods and only leans into the Son of Zeus story because it gets them more jobs. In spite of this blatant lie revealed premise, he's still a super strong noble paragon and all-around good dude who just wants to live a nice quiet life. He's accompanied by a ragtag crew of misfit heroes that share nothing in common with their mythical counterparts aside from name and gender. Featuring his childhood friend Autolycus, a knife-happy snarker who learns that the real treasure was the friends they made along the way and also all the gold, the seer Amphiarius who's really stoked to die and then doesn't. His nephew Iola who is immediately no homo on introduction and spends the entire movie telling the classic Hercules myths and getting made fun of for it. Tydeus, a traumatized nonverbal berserker and probably the best character, most likely because he doesn't talk, and Atalanta, who spends half her dialogue insulting men by calling their dicks small. No woman I know thinks about dicks that much. Directed by Brett Ratner, what a surprise. Our heroes are chilling in a tavern post-successful mission when they're approached by a beautiful but cagey princess who asks them to help her father John Hurt fight this bad dude Rhesus. Herc and friends agree to one last job and train his ragtag army of farmers and peasants into an elite fighting force for an hour of the movie's runtime, then beat Rhesus easily and immediately learn that John Hurt was actually evil all along and it's time to fight him instead. Complicating matters, this movie decided that myths are dumb and fake, so every mythical monster Hercules ever fought was either an exaggerated regular animal or a dude in a Scooby-Doo mask, so there are no supernatural elements in this Greek hero movie. The movie also has the audacity to suggest that Hercules may maybe isn't even a demigod, but we watch him flip an entire horse with one hand, so I'm not buying it. In the mythology, Hera drove Hercules crazy and he killed his wife and kids, and the movie turns this into a bit of a mystery because it never actually acknowledges the gods are real, so if Hera's not responsible, who is? This is all answered in the final half hour of the movie when it turns out that John Hurt was in league with Hercules' cousin Eurystheus all along, and Eurystheus drugged Herc, murdered his family, and then told Hercules he did it when he woke up. Trusting dude. This movie is astonishingly boring. We watch a ragtag bunch of misfits train a faceless army of minions to fight another faceless army of minions for two-thirds of the movie until the third act twist reveals it was all pointless anyway. The murder mystery subplot is actually kind of interesting, but gets almost no buildup before we learn the truth. And it's also, like, really obvious. Tropes aren't bad, but if your story's already boring, they're not gonna make it less boring. There's this one scene where Hercules wakes up in a bit of a daze, goes out to survey the battlefield, and sees the bodies of his family being eaten by Kerberos. He freaks out, grabs a spear, and charges, and the vision fades, revealing itself as a hallucination. Hercules is very shaken, and as he's processing what happened, his nonverbal berserker buddy quietly lays a hand on his shoulder in solidarity and understanding. A moment of beautiful visual storytelling and shared vulnerability between two very broken people, one visibly broken, the other only stoic under a facade. This scene is really, really good. Also, Ian McShane is hilarious. That's it, this movie's really boring. Overall, I give this movie a 3 out of 10. Why would you Scooby-Doo Greek mythology?